A pedestrian was killed yesterday when police say she ignored the railroad crossing signals and was hit by a bright line train in Melbourne. Yeah, our Brevard Bureau Chief Scott Heiler spoke with city leadership about safety. A female stepped in front of the bright line train, Aurora, in the tracks. Melbourne first responder radio traffic just after 60 year old Lisa Molnair was struck and killed Thursday at 2.46 in the afternoon. According to police, she did not obey the crossing signals at Aurora Road just off US 1 in Melbourne. The department is investigating the incident. But there could be more measures taken because you're not paying attention or you think it's good and the train come, they come pretty fast. so. You might think you're okay, but you're not. A local business owner telling West 2 the signals appeared to be working fine around the time of the incident. It's the first death related to a Brightline train in Brevard County. The high-speed rail service connecting Central Florida to South Florida started on September 22nd. It passes through Brevard, but does not stop. Here in Melbourne, the mayor has an increased concern about railway safety. That's because the train passes right through downtown Melbourne here. It's one of the busiest pedestrian crossings in all of Brevard. And you have a lot of people coming and going. Uh, you're coming right off US 1, so you don't have much margin of error on the turn. So you really have to be careful, and, and it's going to take a little bit of use to. Before Brightline kicked off its service, they pushed out PSAs on railroad safety, emphasizing when the arms go down, don't go around, and never try to beat a train, the fast Brightline, or even the slower freight trains. Please be patient. Uh, don't be in a rush when you come near a railroad track. Please look both ways and, you know, we all have to get through this together. In Melbourne, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.